resistant strains of microbes seem to be winning the game, and largely with our help. We contribute to and collaborate with the adversary's efforts every day by the way we misuse antibiotics, the way we disregard simple infection control practices, the way we fail to collaborate around critical defensive strategies. In fact, of the host of issues related to the emergence and spread of resistance in hospitals, many are linked to poor knowledge and human behavior. Having the tactical complexity of a chess match, 82% of healthcare workers agree that reducing hospital acquired infections is one of the most pressing issues facing healthcare organizations today. Consumers and patients also agree that infection rates are one of the most important factors in choosing a hospital for care. Preventing the development of and controlling antimicrobial resistance requires a concerted effort of your physicians, clinical providers, and hospital-wide staff. Gather your team for the latest information on resistance and implement innovative critical change strategies in a complimentary webcast sponsored by Texas Health Research and Education Institute. The program, A Call to Action, Advancing Appropriate Antimicrobial Use and Infection Prevention Through Partnership and Shared Knowledge, is a six-part series of performance improvement continuing education programs focused on key determinants of antimicrobial resistance in hospitals. The complimentary online series begins November 3rd, 2009. For more information or to register, please visit crmhealthcare.net slash programs slash call to action. Grateful acknowledgement is extended to Estellas, Pfizer, and Wyeth for their educational grants supporting this activity.